Welcome to TV TV Sport for highlights of Hanworthy Recreation against Verwood Town. But before anything, I want to say goodbye to the TV TV doggo buddy. See you later, mate. <laughs> okay, league standings before the start of play. Hanworthy Recreation still unbeaten, top of the table. Verwood Town in 14th, not in any danger at all. And those positions are pretty much replicated in the current form. Hanworthy Rec looking good. Burwood Town, middle of the pack. As the song goes, it's a beautiful day and we're at Hanworthy United on the 4G so that Ham Rec can start ticking off some of those 10 games they've got outstanding. Today's officials are referee Harry Redman and his assistants Craig Sando and Michael Rowley. <laughs> And as we completed the setup for today's matches and putting the cameras out, Luke found Lottie's sock in his pocket. Yet another gift from the little one. Thank you, little lady. Anyway, time to have a look at your squads and start in the 11s. <laughs> As you might have suspected, you're going to see a first half full of one-way traffic. This early chance for McMurdo suggested that Hamrick might get a bit of joy from the aerial route today. And from yet another cross on six minutes, Dean had the opportunity to put Mitchell to the test. But then from the corner, chaos breaks loose. McMurdo's header hits the post and then in the panic to clear it, Whitelaw hits the ball against Roberts and it goes in the back of the net. 1-0 to Wreck. I'd barely had a chance to make me notes for the first goal scorer, and then this happened. Long is released down the left, spots the keeper in no man's land, and chips it over his head. Even when Verwood threatened down the other end, Wreck were looking strong in defence and absolutely deadly on the break. So far, Fredericks was pretty unbothered in the red goal. Just before the half hour mark, Long's fouled and Ben Cooper gets a chance to whip it in. Long pops up again with a back post header.
39 minutes in, Wrecker 4 0 up, and Chris Long secured his hat trick with a proper centre forwards goal. One player pulling strings from the middle of the park and catching the eye was this youngster, Mickey Hubbard. I wonder how much more we'll see of him. You may have noticed I started putting my cameras in some dangerous positions. Well, here's some of the consequences of doing that. And for that reason, there's no goal cam footage down that end for the second half. For the second half, it would look like they've changed their formation and Callum McHale found his way through. But it didn't look like anything was going to get past Fredericks today. <laughs> we just passed the hour and Tom Cooper plays a back pass. Straight on TV, TV indeed. But as you saw, all the cameras are banjacked, so there's no replays. <laughs> Apart from this one. Don't worry, nobody noticed. Despite conceding though, Wreck went on the attack again and created themselves a couple of chances. The visitors were still pushing forward. Davis releasing Danvers here on the left wing. And it was more pressure down that left hand side that proved to be the catalyst for the next event in the match. Davis squares for Buggy, who scores on his debut. Congratulations, young man. Soon after that goal, the referee blows the quickest full-time whistle I've ever heard, and it finishes 4-2 to Hamrek, who go marching on on their unbeaten... No, I can't, I can't mention, not allowed to mention it. Shut up talking, Tony. Christ's sake. OK, let's talk about the league table. Hamworthy played 30, 127, drawn... Oh, it's disappeared. Next week, I'm at Wimborne Town against Portland Rovers. Join me then. In the meantime, have a great week. See you later. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>